it was that got away from you Flip in this game, and, and what did you think the main reason was? Uh, just in the second quarter, uh, we had some, you know, we, we had some good looks that we just didn't go down. Um, they got loose. They saw some go in, um, and it carried over into the third quarter. So. Um, Good point blank shots with guys that are off, missing shots that normally make. And that's the way the game goes, to make a miss league. And, you know, when you can't get a bucket and they're scoring, they're on the run, you know, it's, it's tough. Like, we, 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 we have to keep the scoreboard moving. Coach, what is your level of anger and or disappointment because you couldn't accomplish those things that you were just trying to do? I mean, you just, you just got to put guys in a position where, they, you know, they, they're, they're in their sweet spots, they're getting looks, and again, just hope they're in a good rhythm and things go down. You know, for a little while there, we had only made one three, then it was a long, long time that we only had made two. Uh, we guarded their three-point line well. Um, the offensive rebounds definitely played a part for them and, and those guys getting themselves together, getting back on balance, you know, giving up second and third opportunities for them to get buckets, get look, get good looks at the rim. Uh, but, you know, you just, you have to attack each possession. You have to be competitive, have competitive pride and attack each possession. And, you know, you're gonna miss shots, but you gotta move on to the next play. One thing about this team that we've been really doing very good at over the last couple of months is having a next play mentality. Um, moving on to the next play, giving multiple efforts, but you know, it's tough. It's tough. We've got to figure out a way to get one on Saturday to stay alive. Tarvin, in the, in the third quarter, it seemed like after Jokic picked up, I think that fourth foul or, the, or third foul or whatever, that you guys went, you did try to attack him, and I think it went missed layup, turnover, turnover, turnover. Um, how much of that is sort of just the pressure that maybe your team feels to be perfect or close to perfect against them? And, and have you felt that maybe tighten up your guys at all through this series? Yeah, I mean, I just think the disappointment, you know, on this team and having, having the type of run they've had against our ball club, I think it's just a lot of disappointment. And we have to do a, uh, a better job of staying focused, staying positive through, throughout it all because, again, you have those disappointment moments, those what we call disappointment lags. That disappointment can spill over to two, three, four possessions. And you see that someone makes a mistake, we drop our heads, you know, we start jogging back instead of sprinting. But uh, we have to fight through all of that. This is a hell of a team. They're the defending champs for a reason. Been saying this since day one. Um, they push you to the limit in order to try to beat them. So uh, you got to be ready for that fight, possession by possession. What did you see from D'Angelo tonight? And, and what's the, the plan slash message for him going forward into game four? It's unfortunate, man. You know, he had some good looks that he just didn't knock down. Um, it's as simple as that. Similar to game one, he was able to bounce back in game two, and I expect him to bounce back in game four. Darvin, pregame, you mentioned your conversation with Rui about not overthinking things. How, how did you feel like he played tonight? And I guess what, what's the message moving forward for him? I mean, just, you know, to, uh, the same thing. You know, he has to play with joy. Um, he has to keep things simple as long as he's aggressive. Whenever he keeps it simple, he's aggressive on both sides of the ball, uh, needing him to attack the glass, uh, attack the paint, um, get out and transition, run, and, you know, as he did early on in the game. If he's open for three, let it go, make a quick decision. But the little things, just, just his awareness and aggressiveness, whether he's double teaming, whether he's the MIG, you know, baseline help, or whether he's going to get a defensive rebound, just want him aggressive in all facets of the game.